Hey, it's Milton Daily Homes, and my name is Chuck. We're back with another great weekend roundup. We have 16 today, and I got some new glasses. Not like you tune in for my glasses, but you tune in for some great homes. I think we've got some fantastic ones today. So the first one up is Frank Place. It's at 272.9, and inside it's an Ashfield uh, Cherry Hill model, 1051 square feet. Cosmetically, it's beautiful. I mean, when you take that stuff away, there's not a whole lot of upgrades. Um, you know, these ones used to sell, this would get 280 probably less than two months ago. I've had a couple rough sales, and so the sales are a little bit down on these. I think it's a great deal compared to what what else you can get. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Edwards, 3049. This is a, a Brennan or an Amesbury model, 1130 square feet. You've got, you walk in, you've got a big front room with a kitchen beside. Upstairs you have three bedrooms. The master has a nice walk-in closet, one full bathroom upstairs, one powder room on the main, and at 3049 it has a finished basement too. And that's the price they sell for without finished basements. And overall I think that uh, it's either priced extremely well or maybe it's not in the best condition. That's why they put the price like that. Either way it would be worth checking out. And if it's good it'll sell real fast. Cartwright. I listed this one years ago, uh, three fourteen nine, and it's a uh, th so there's the kitchen opens up to the family room, and there's an upstairs bedroom, the front one. There's a good shot of the front dining room, family on this side, and uh, kitchen on the other side. You know, nice landscaping. It's a good street. It's private. All that stuff. Three fourteen. I think it's a good price too. Finney Terrace is a three story model. It's the bigger three story one, about thirteen thirteen fifty square feet. Uh, three fourteen nine. Unless the uh, the hallways are paved with gold, I don't think they're going to get it. Unfortunately, there was a time when a few of these sold for that. It's not realistic though in the general picture of what they're selling for. Hardwood floors, stainless steel, all that stuff. It's still it seems high to me. Uh, Rainer Court. 3198, it's an Emery model. I think they've done tile throughout here, which some people may not like. <coughs> some people use that front room as a family room. Stainless steel appliances, three bedrooms upstairs. That's the master ensuite. No uh, tub, but there's a stand-up shower. And it is a very good model, very popular. Uh, the one problem with Rainer is there's a no frills going in right here. So it's not directly adjacent to it, but it, it it's definitely a factor in there but if it didn't have that this would be a great price so how much are you willing to live with that uh, new development it's good to be close to groceries that's for sure uh, waters that's a terrible front look they got to paint that um, I wouldn't have listed it without painting that front side 349.9 uh, there's the front room there and whoops you've got uh, the kitchen you've got three bedrooms upstairs and there's a finished basement downstairs. I don't know, all these pictures look compressed. They're actually not like that. Um, 349, it's even hard to tell what model it is. There's no size or anything mentioned in there, so it's tough to gauge. Bustle Crescent, 369, three bedroom, three washroom, finished basement, sort of the same as the other one, 2215 square feet. So you're looking at um, probably 17, 18 on the main, then four or 500 downstairs. And, uh, you know, I think hardwood floors, diagonal tiles, stainless steel, this one to me looks like the better pick. Cedar Hedge is the old fourth line. So when you look at where this one is, there's fourth line. You think of all those streets like Harwood, there's Trudeau, there's Derry. And so the new name for it is Cedar Hedge 39. When you look inside, that's the front room there. That's the, the dining room. There's the front porch right ahead. A family room, then the kitchen. That's what you have on the main level. Three bedrooms upstairs. Um... You know, overall, I think that this one, I, I don't know if 1505 square feet is enough to bring someone to pay 390 for it. There are some nice upgrades. It's a nice home. There's double car parking side by side, so you don't have to switch the cars around. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm, it'll be a bit tricky, in my opinion, to get that price. Pitcher, 425. It's a semi detached three bedroom and it's a finished basement. I think the biggest challenge for these guys is not the size of the home or the upgrades. We'll have to wait for the pictures. I think it's having three bedrooms instead of four to uh, to get a semi up in the 425 range, which is really top, top end for semis in Milton. Uh, Teletza, and then look at what else you can get. Crank 25,000 more. Now you're talking about a double car garage home. Uh, you're talking about a beautiful kitchen. Opens up to the family. There's a dining room right beside here. And then you've got the, uh, you know, the, the master upstairs plus three other rooms and a nice ensuite. 
Very, very nice. Very nice. Gordon Heights, 449. Here's another great one. Competes well with Telezza. Way bigger lot. Uh, inside, so kind of similar design. Kitchen, eat in. And then you've got, instead of two rooms, you've got one big room here. Uh, three bedrooms upstairs, plus a finished basement. The other thing is plus 30 feet extra in the back. 109-foot lots of sundial home. Gets really, really... The lots here are like old Milton. They're, they're exceptional. And uh, interlock driveway. I think this one... Definitely gone in a week for sure. It's a great price for this, this model right here. Weston Drive, I think another super home. Usually in the 460s, we're seeing these homes that have a family room above the garage and wainscoting, hardwood floors, beautiful. The kitchen looks good, pot lights, and you've got the family room on the main level there too. So then bedrooms upstairs, four of them. Uh, bathroom has some upgrades there. So all in 469, I'm feeling this one a lot. I think it's great. Laurier, another super home, 489. In the old section, Laurier's a busier street, but it's still a very nice looking home. It's a Charleston home, double car garage. Look at that mantle, gorgeous stuff, kitchen, uh, dining area, big rooms, 50 by 100 foot lot. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with this stuff coming out today and over the weekend. We review stuff from the, the entire weekend in this list. Fox Crescent, double car garage, if you like columns, this home is great for you. Uh, kitchen isn't spectacular, but look at this. Keep looking out those windows. That's what you see. You want to wake up in the morning, go out there, and have a nice private forest behind you. Absolutely beautiful hot tub here, and the location cannot be beat. 550, gorgeous stuff. Less than 3,000 square feet. And Gooch is 569, and really, you got to put your own appliances in. So do you want to live with a forest behind you? Do you want to live really close to your neighbors and then have to put all your appliances? Now, this one's a nice home. I don't want to discount it, but I think that this model is for sale with more features uh, and more appliances for the same price or sometimes a lot less, too. Um, Burnhamthorpe is our last listing. It's a country home, so it's about uh, half a kilometer Um uh, west of Bronte, so it's it's east of Tremaine, west of Bronte, and it's a, Google Maps did it wrong. It's actually this little plot of land right here, 2.58 acres. There are some buildings there, um, development potentials there. It's a little close to the 407, so you will hear some noise. Uh, but overall, I think it really depends on the um, how the house looks. You know, I think the land is probably worth at least half a million, and it comes down to uh, who's going to buy it and are they going to rip the house down? How much are the rentals? All that stuff. So that's our list. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.